بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أصول السنة وفي ما محمد بن هنبل The Foundations of Sunna Forty-five. So the closest of them in companionship to him are more excellent than the generation who did not see him, even if they met Allah with all the good actions. Despite that, those who accompanied the Prophet Allah saw him and heard from him are superior. Forty-six. And whoever saw him with his eyes and believed in him, even if on Hawa, is more excellent. On account of this companionship with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then the Tabi'een, even if the Tabi'een did every action of goodness. Seven. And hearing and obeying the leaders uh, and the Amir, Amir al-Mu'minin, whether righteous or sinful from among those who come into power, with the, with the Khilafah and with respect to whom the people have agreed, have united themselves are at peace with him. And also hearing and obeying the one who fought against the people with the sword, has conquered them until he became the Khilafah and was named the Amir al-Mu'minin. Uh, participation in battles along with the leaders, uh, Umara, be they righteous or sinful, is an everlasting affair up that is always operative until the day of judgment. It is never to be abandoned. Likewise, the division of the spoils of war and appointing the rulers, uh, Aima, to say the prescribed punishments, uh, Uhudud, are both everlasting. It is permissible for anyone to rebook them or to contend with them, that is, their rulers. Also, hand, handing over the charity to them, the rulers, is permissible and always uh, operative in effect. Whoever gives the charity to them, then with that will suffice him, that is, his obligation will have been fulfilled, whether righteous or, or sinful. 51. And performing the Juma prayer behind him, the ruler, and behind whoever he appoints is a permissible and perfect act and uh, consists of two rakas. Whoever repeats them after praying behind him is an innovator. One who abandons the narrations and an op oppose of the Sunnah. He sees nothing of reward from the excellence of his attendance of the Juma prayer. If he does not accept and hold that prayer is to be observed behind the leaders, whomever they may be, the righteous amongst them and the sinful amongst them. So the Sunnah is that the, the prayer, the, the Sunnah that he, he, pray, he, he prayers to Rakas with them. Whoever repairs them is an better, and that he acknowledges that they are perfect and complete, not having any doubt in his heart regarding that. And whoever revolts again as a leader from among the leaders of the Muslims, after the people had agreed upon him and united themselves behind him, after they had affirmed that the Khilafah for him in whatever way he, this Khilafah may have been, by the pleasure and assistance by, by, by the pleasure or, uh, and uh, assistance or by his force and the nation, the, the, the nation over them, then this revolted has disobeyed the Muslims and has contradicted the uh, narrations of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And if the one who revolted against the ruler died, he would have died the dead of uh, ignorance. And the killing of the one is in power is not lawful, and uh, and no, is, is it permissible for anyone among the people to revolt against him? Whoever does that is an evader, and he is upon other than the Sunnah and the correct path. Fighting against the thieves and the revolters, however, is permissible. That is when they set upon a, a man with respect to his person and his wealth. This is then permissible to him to fight and defend himself and his property and to repel the thieves and the revolt, revolters from them, from them both, to himself and his property, with everything that is within his capacity. But it is not permissible for him when they depart from him to or abandon him that he seeks them, is find them, nor should he follow their tracks, and this is not permissible for anyone other than the Imam leader or those in charge with the authority over the Muslims. It is only for him to defend himself in his own place, and he should intend by his, by his to strike against them that he will not kill anyone, but if he kills uh, while he's defending himself in the battle, then Allah will make the one kill far removed from himself. And from any goodness, and if he himself is killed in that, in that state while he is defending himself and his property, then I hope that it is martyrdom for him as he has occurred in the Hadith. Uh, you know. All of the narration in the regard have ordered with fighting him, but they know that they order killing him, but pursuing him for no finishing, finishing of him, should he fell to the ground or become wounded. And if he took him as a captive, I should not kill him, and should not carry out the prescribed, prescribed punishment against him, but rather he should raise his mother to, to, to whoever Allah has appointed and given authority, so that he may judge in the, in the matter. I will not, will not testify for anyone from among the people of the Qibla, on account of an action that he has done, that he is in paradise or in hellfire. We have, we, we, have, we have hope for the righteous one, and we fear for him, and we fear for the evil and sinful person, and we hope in the mercy of Allah for him. And whoever 
and whoever meets Allah with a sin which will resuscitate the fire for him, having repented, not returning back to it and not uh, being in, 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 instant upon it, then Allah the mighty and magnificent will turn to him in forgiveness and Allah accept repentance from his servant and forgives the evil the evil the evil actions. And whoever meets him after having had the prescribed punishment made meted out to him for that particular sin in this world, then that will be needed, that will be its expression uh, as occurs in the narration from the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And whoever meets him having persisted upon and not repented from the sins which resisted the punishment, then his affair is with Allah the mighty and magnificent. If he wills, he will punish him, and if he wills, he will forgive him. And whoever meets him uh, as a disbeliever, he will punish him and will not forgive him. And stoning to death, which is true and correct, is the first to do, 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 do uh, which is true and correct, is the right to do of the one who has uh, forsaken himself, himself with marriage, but fornicates the affidavit when he or she admit to this act of or act, uh, or when the evidence is established against him or her. The Messenger of Allah has allowed us to stone to death, and the rightly guided leaders to stone to death. However, I never disparage and discard a single one on the companion of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or he has him on account of something that occurred from him or mentions his shortcomings, then he is an, he is an innovator. He remains a such until he asks for Allah's mercy for them, all of them, until the heart is sincere and good natured towards them. And hypocrisy is, is it is disbelief that a person be disbelieve in Allah and worship other than Him inwardly, but He manifests Islam openly, such as the uh, hypocrite in the time of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And He is allowed saying in Surah there are three categories: He is hypocrite in uh, is an intensification in uh, expression which which we we uh, no. And He is allowed sallam saying in 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 in, in, in whom soever. There are, there are three characteristics. He's a, he's a hypocrite. It's an int intensification in and likewise. He's saying, not to become this after me, uh, st uh, striking the necks of each other. And when two Muslims meet with their swords, then both of the killer and the killer in the fire. And Isa Allah is saying, in so there are three characteristics, it's a hypocrite. It's an, it's an intensification in. And how did such as this among those which have been educated and, and preserved? 71. We submit to it even if we do not know its explanation. We do not talk about it, we do not argue about it, and we do not explain this ahadith. Except the like of what they had, they had it have come with. We not reject them except with the best amongst the amongst them. And also, the fire are two created things. They have already been created, as has come from the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hadith. I enter the place and I saw a castle. And I saw the pool. Kothar, ayo. Verily, we have given you, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Kothar. In Naka in Al Kothar. And I looked in the hell fire and I saw most of its animals are women. And I looked in the fire and I saw such and such. So whoever claims that the paradise and hell fire are not created, then he is a denier of the Quran and the hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu I do not consider that he believes in paradise and hell fire. And whoever dies from among the people of the Qibla as a Muahid, one testifying to the unity and uniqueness of Allah in his lordship, his right of worship, and in his names and attributes, then prayer is performed over him, and forgiveness is sought for him. Seeking forgiveness not to be withheld from him, that is, it should not be abandoned for him, or not abandon praying over him on account of a sin which he has committed, regardless of whether it is a small or big sin. His affair is the law, the mighty, the sublime end of uh, the treatise.